Bitcoin needs to make a decision right away. With that said, hit the like button and subscribe for daily technical analysis and price prediction for the Bitcoin price. This is DC Trading. Let's start off with some breaking news. The PCE inflation was just released. It did rise to 0.3% in February, less than expected. Yes, it did cool down, but we're still very high. Overall, the markets did react very well. Looking at the S&P 500, we have seen a green candle on the daily time frame and the weekly time frame. As for the US dollar, it is sitting around the 102. Now, looking at Bitcoin, what do we see here? It's still struggling to break above this resistance of 28,400. Yes, we are currently at around 28,500. We do need the daily time frame to close above this resistance. Once we do, this will confirm that we're heading to $30,000. Do we have enough buying pressure? We're going to find out because the MACD is showing us what? A red dot for a sell. The volume has slowed down just a bit. Just a bit. So now we are waiting for what? For more buying pressure on the Bitcoin price. Now looking over here, <clears throat> taking a closer look at the four hour charts. What do we see here? Well, yesterday we did see the price of Bitcoin rise to 29,000 and then we seen this downward slope head all the way as low to 27,500, but it did pick up after the news of the PCE inflation. Taking a look right here, we did break out of this descending line on the 15 minute charts, as you guys can see. So it did react very well to the news. The thing is, we have to break through this key resistance and we have to close. And it looks like there's not a lot of buying pressure as of right now. You understand that? Because on the 15 minute time frame, we do see that things are starting to reverse on the MACD. As for the four hour, yes, it is still showing us a red dot. So overall, on the four hour and the daily time frame, we are it is showing us a sell on the MACD. The question is, do we have enough buying pressure to cause the Bitcoin price to break through and close the daily above 28,400? We'll find out in the next couple hours because if we take a look we have seven hours until the next weekly candle or the daily candle closes now looking over here right now as you guys can see liquidity pool it looks like the bears are confident that we are going to see more downside for the bitcoin price so what happens if we do see a downside for the bitcoin price how low can we go well as you guys know we have been stuck testing this key resistance if we can't break above it and close the daily it looks like eventually we are going to head down and retest twenty five thousand dollars as you guys know we struggled for a while to break through the twenty five thousand we finally did three weeks ago thanks to the silicon valley bank situation now that things are slowing down now and we don't have enough buying pressure well, we may come back down to retest 25,000 to confirm this is an actually support because it was once resistance. Now it's technically support. We need to retest it to confirm it. Looking on the weekly EMAs right here. Technically speaking, if we decide to break through 28,400 and we head to 30,000, well, technically speaking, we will be heading into a bull market because right now it looks like things are reversing and we are starting to see the EMA 20 start to cross with the EMA 55, which will confirm a bull run. Will this happen? We'll have to find out tonight if the daily can close above 28,400. Looking over here now. As I said, today, Friday, there's about there's going to be around $4 billion of Bitcoin options set to expire. But look at right here. Bitcoin bears were caught completely off guard. 
the open interest for March 31st options expiry is 4.2 billion, but the actual figure will be lower since bears were expecting sub 26,500 price levels. These traders were caught by surprise as Bitcoin gained 32% between March 12th and March 17th. So, what looked very bearish for the Bitcoin price now looks very bullish and hopefully we can get some buying pressure so we can finally break through this key resistance as you guys can see right here. This key resistance of 28,500. We need to break through and head into these two yellow lines in between because as you guys can see from the past history of Bitcoin's price, yes, we briefly touched here where it was support. Well, now it is resistance and we need to close in between these two yellow lines to confirm what we're going to head to $30,000 and beyond $30,000. Looking over here, guys, we also have some breaking news. U.S. government to sell 41,000, over 41,000 Bitcoins, which is equivalent to $1.18 billion connected to Silk Road in four batches this year. So they plan to sell 41,000 Bitcoins this year in four batches. Well, you can take that however you want, guys. Overall, we need the Bitcoin price to break and close the daily above 28400 to confirm what? Higher prices for Bitcoin price. If we cannot, this means we're going to see a correction down to 25000 With that said, hit the like button, subscribe for daily technical analysis and price prediction. Peace.